In this video, I'm going to share with you what is the difference between a cluster house and a townhouse. Right, this is actually one grey area and one of the area whereby it's confusing a lot of people. Hi, good afternoon everybody. My name is Jip Ng and it's nice to see you at my channel again. Right, so today I'm here to discuss with you or to share with you what are the differences between a townhouse and a strata or a, a cluster house. Right, so in a very old uh, time, right, in the past, um, we have this kind of uh, housing project called townhouse. Right, so townhouse are something like a hybrid between a condo and a landed property whereby you are staying in a landed house but you are having a common community area like a condominium. Right, you don't own the whole plot of land by yourself. Right, so those are called townhouses and townhouses are normally uh, built in the older day and uh, normally you will not come with any facilities right unlike condominiums yeah but when the time actually evolved and uh, townhouses slowly people will start to change the name and uh, the, the term of cluster house start to surface out right so cluster house in fact if you talk about the title they are similar to the townhouses right and cluster house are the newer uh, built and normally it come with uh, better facilities like swimming pool like function room like barbecue pit right those things that you are able to find in condo most likely you'll be able to find in a cluster house as well right so there's a difference between a townhouse and a cluster house and normally the cluster house are uh, more uh, newer as compared to the townhouses right and this is actually the two terms that we use in the past yeah but recently right um, URA has actually come out a new set of standards and uh, we classify all these townhouses, cluster house, or they are classified under strata landed housing. Right, so the actual name in fact for a strata, uh, for a cluster house or a strata uh, or a townhouses, the actual name or the more professional name are uh, in fact the, uh, we call this strata landed housing. Yeah, so strata landed housing as a name apply, it is a strata title, right? So there's a major difference between a strata landed and a conventional landed, right? Strata landed meaning you don't own the land yourself, right? And um, in the title lead, yeah, so when you print out the title lead, if you're a strata landed uh, owner, your title will show strata landed housing. Right, but if you are owning a conventional landed property, when you print out your title, you'll be able to see a hey, your title is classified under a landed title. Right, so that are the two differences. Yeah, and strata landed actually has been around for many years, uh, from the very uh, old older day. Right, we call tower house. Then after that, you come to cluster house, which is very uh, I think popular among a lot of reader out there, a lot of home uh, owner out there, right? You all are very familiar with cluster house. Yeah. And then I said, now we call this strata landed housing. Yeah. And uh, some of the strata landed housing, they have actually some advantages over the rest. Why do I say that? Because they are able to sell to a foreigner. Yeah. It's like a condominium. So if you are having the kind of uh, strata landed housing i think uh, congratulations because you you'll be able to get a bigger pool of buyer for sure right and uh, how to identify which strata lender project are able to sell to foreigner right a, a, a common or a, a rule of thumb that uh, normally i use is before i even check further i just want to know the uh, approval was uh, gotten within uh, which year right of this project meaning i will check the top date of this project and uh, i backdate like two three years uh, later no i backdate two three years before right then that will be the approval normally they apply to ura to get this project uh, approved 
right? So if I know the approval date roughly is in which year, I'm able to find out whether this particular project are able to sell to a foreigner or not, right? So what which date is you have to look out for? 2012, right? So if any project they are built before 2012, I mean I'm referring to Strata Lander project, right? That you can find in a condominium. Right, so uh, I don't know whether have you noticed some of the condominium projects inside they have some strata landed uh, housing or we call the townhouse inside a condominium projects. Right, those kind of projects, uh, their title is also classified under strata landed title. Right, and if they are built before 2012, right, high chance is this project are able to sell to a foreigner. Right, but if you go to any newer project after 2012, then government URA actually changed the rule and they stop people foreigner from buying into this kind of strata landed uh, project that you are able to find in the condominium. Right, so this is one way, a faster way that you are able to find out. And after you have uh, get the year of TOP or the roughly the year of getting the approval, right, you can actually go and buy a title on this particular. Uh, projects make sure on the title or the on the information on the ownership information you see their title is under landed under condominium sorry if you see under condominium title then those strata landed housing or the townhouse that you find in a condominium you are able to buy even though you are not a Singaporean Right, so foreigners are able to buy, you don't have to get approval. Right, so there's actually one faster way for you to find out which project you are able to go for if you are not a Singaporean and if you are interested to buy a Swata Lander project. Yeah, so I hope this uh, clears some of the doubts uh, on the ground that, like, you know, uh, a lot of them say it's very confusing which one can sell to foreigner, which one cannot sell to foreigner, that kind of thing. All right, so this is actually one rule of thumb that you can use if you are channeling into any of the Strata Lander project that you find in a condominium projects. Yeah, so my name is Ji Ng, and remember to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell, right, so that you will be notified for my upcoming video again. See you soon.